Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about fracture healing. Before we start, there is a disclaimer. This video is for informative learning purposes only. I am advising you to refer to the main textbooks or sources that is used in each teaching center respectively. Thank you. Now let's begin. What is fracture? Fracture is a break in the continuity of the bone. There are four stages of fracture healing. First stage is hematoma formation. Second stage is fibrocartilaginous callus formation. Third stage is bony callus formation. And the final stage or fourth stage is bone remodeling. For stage 1, hematoma formation usually occurs in day 1 to day 5. What happens is the blood supply to the bone and periosteum are ruptured, causing hematoma formation to occur around the fracture area. This will stimulate inflammatory cytokines, example tumor necrosis factor alpha, TNF alpha, bone morphogenic protein, BMP, and interleukin. Interleukin 1, interleukin 6, interleukin 11, interleukin 23. This inflammatory cytokine will attract macrophage, monocyte, and lymphocyte. They will act as a garbage collector, removing damage and necrotic tissue. After they have done their function, vascular endothelial growth factor VG, VEGF will arrive and take over the next stage. For stage 2, fibrocartilaginous formation, porifera phase. VEGF will promote angiogenesis. What is angiogenesis? Angiogenesis is formation of new blood vessels. There will be fibrin formation. Masakamo cells will differentiate to fibroblasts, chondroblasts, and osteoblasts. So each of them has a function. Layers of collagen, fibrocartilage, will form. So stage 2. Bony callus formation from day 11 to day 28. Cartilaginous callus begin to undergo endochondral ossification. Ren ligand is present. Cartilaginous callus is resolved and calcification occur. Below the periosteum, woven bone is being laid down. Angiogenesis proliferate. At the end of stage 3, hard calcified callus forms. Is an immature bone. Stage 4, day 18 onwards, lasting months to years. There is a redundant of stage 3 and stage 4 time frame. The osteoclast will resolve the bone, while osteoblasts will form new bone. This repeated procedure will cause the center of callus become cortical bone. Callus edges will become lamella bone. The process of formation of normal bone structure is due to bone remodeling that can last to many months, sometimes up to years. So, type of bone healing. It can be divided into primary bone healing or secondary bone healing. For primary bone healing, the strain is usually less than 2%. Cortex of bone form without formation of callus. Intramembranous healing via Haversian remodeling. This is achieved with absolute stability construct. Example, plate fixation in fracture mid-shaft femur or plate fixation in fracture mid-shaft radius and OO ulna. For secondary bone healing, the strain is between 2 to 10%. It occurs through formation of external callus, then remodeling occur. It is an endochondral healing. This is achieved by non-rigid construct. Example, cast application for closed fracture mid shaft ulna or intramedullary nailing. Okay, that's all for today. See you next time. Bye.